I was <clears throat> inspired uh, or I learned really how to draw from two different teachers. It was both architectural and machine drawing that fascinated me the way you could reduce something three-dimensional to a two-dimensional form. In art school at the American Academy of Art, I would draw very realistically, but then try to uh, reduce that realistic drawing to a two-dimensional, very flat image. Uh, I then began painting and painting these very flat drawings three-dimensionally. The whole installation is called string theory. String theory itself is a scientific formula. Albert Einstein was working on one theory that would explain everything. The way Newton explained or united the heaven and earth with his formula of gravity, he said that the apple that fell to the earth fell because of the same force that made the moon circle around the earth. So I used that as my jumping off point to get started on this project. And I took ideas like gravity, which is really string theory, the piece with the horse figures, as a hard pulling down to the earth force. String theory also says that all strings are connected to all of matter but that matter then is moving, it's in motion. So then I had to show the opposite of string theory. And so I took Matisse's painting, Dance, and used that as the basis of Susan's dance, my sculpture. To make this work as a sculpture, I took the lowest figure, which in Matisse's painting is in the front of the painting, and these two figures here are in the back of the painting. But as a, as a sculpture, it worked better to reverse that. This is a, a industrial cardboard or various industrial cardboards like RAM board or upholstery board. They're very thin, uh, you can bend them. I then laminate the uh, layers together and saturate them with a, a water-based glue and I can then curve these figures when the, the glue is still wet and when it dries, the, the curve remains to what, whatever I want. I, I use a lot of staples, a lot of drywall screws to hold the integrity of that curve that I want. I don't really believe that you get inspired. A bolt of lightning doesn't come down and you get a great idea and then you, you start. I believe that you start working first on anything. And the problems that you run into will be resolved as you simply work on it. And other ideas will come as you work. I like people to, to see something they haven't seen before. Look for other things that are similar in their lives. And how this relates to their own experience.